plethora of people out there giving out bad advice. Through. Don't have sex while dating. What do we do when she wants sex? Just say no. Because women are not that into sex. The Los Angeles-based pastor is claimed that people who march in gay parades are the children of Satan. Now several of Peterson's one-time friends allege that pastor owns personal life is rife with gay and sexual relationships. Just just That's riddled with riddled with dicks. Riddled Oxen. with dicks? Wall to wall. Riddled with dicks. <laughs> just dicks. <laughs> just a Tommy gun full of dicks. Women not that into sex. They use sex to control men. Stop it women. there. Some women are not into sex. Some women want to fuck all the time. They certainly don't want sex with a closeted pastor who's a homophobe. No, he's, he's, a, a, he's homophobe. a liar. He's a liar and a homophobe and a racist. And a homophobe. And then he's sucking cock on the down low. Yeah. Simping ain't easy, my Simping man. Simping ain't easy. You know what's easy, though? Simping. Simping is easy. Simping is easy. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. I'm, I'm actually doing good. Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, how you feeling, Harry? Are you good? Oh, I'm doing great, Dante. I, mean, I can't be doing any better. Uh, I mean, I'm living the life. I'm trying to keep these gators down, but I'm having a tough time doing it. This is difficult. Simping ain't easy, my Simpin man. Simping ain't easy. You know what's easy, though? Simping. Simping is easy. Simping is easy. Wow. That's right. It's like a horde of simps just running around. And even when they not simping, they simping a little bit. You know what I mean? There's they, always a little always, simp, but a little simp is simp. You can't have, a, you know. Yeah, you're right. That's like being half pregnant. There, There is a plethora of people out there giving out bad advice. Uh, all over the, the red pill community that's or no advice. Up. How about that? No advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just creating like chaos, not helping out. And it just I guess it frustrates us, man. We do a relationship show. I think we do the best one out there. I think we do the most helpful one out there. But there's a lot of people who uh, are giving out frivolous advice. So I wanted to I actually wanted to play something for you, Dante. And I wanted to get yeah, your okay. your thoughts on this. Oh, this one right here. Uh, oh, already you know who this uh, is. This moron. I've seen this guy's face. I don't remember his name. Uh, let's see here. Uh, he he him. would be uh, might be a cousin Ruckus if he's not Uncle Ruckus. But oh, go ahead. Geez. Oh, that's who he is. Okay, yeah, right, let's play man. this and then we'll we'll uh, we'll go through. Don't have sex while dating. What do we do when she wants sex? Just say no because women are not that into sex. They use sex to control men. Women are sex dealers, and men are sex addicts, and so. Yeah. The woman would prefer you not to have sex with her, but she will use it because she know your weakness in order to control you. And then she'll hate you for it. Mm. Wow. You can't just have a completely sexless relationship. She'll what leave. Right. And if you leave, it's not meant to be your wife. So a, just keep turning that's a, down. That's a whore. <laughs> just keep. Whore. So your thing is just keep turning down women for sex and they'll all leave until you eventually get with the one that is willing to wait for marriage. As a matter of fact, that's what the woman want you to do. She doesn't want you to want her sexual. Mm. She want you to res resist her so you, you can bring her into your world so she could overcome the hell that she lives in. Well, showing well, sexual discipline is always good because most guys don't do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of, a lot stupidity. of stupidity, a lot of stupidity and bad information there. Jesus Christ. The, the notion is don't have sex with any of them. Then you'll meet the one who's meant to be and you will marry her. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she's not a whore, but she, then you'll have a awful sex, uh, awful shitty sex life. With a, right. a woman that you've met. I with mean, a woman that doesn't want to have sex. So now you're supposed to not have sex with this woman at all. And then you're going to have some some hot monkey sex afterwards. And how does that happen? It's just now let me let me start with this. Uh, let me start with this first. This little article I'm going to air. And uh, let me read this. In a hyper-masculine right-wing internet community known as the Manosphere, few figures loom larger than Jesse Lee Peterson. This guy is huge. That's the guy who, the Los Angeles-based pastor, pastor, online radio host, and become a star in conservative media in a part of his demands that men and women return to his unadorned unorthodox version of the traditional gender norms with Peterson's claiming that a woman who orgasms during sex is somehow becoming a man 
a practice he frowns upon. Peterson has also right, emerged the becoming as one, a man part. I mean, it's so much. Confusing yeah, if she orgasm, if she orgasm, she's becoming it's it's you're being a manly. Uh, one of the right most vocal anti-gay figures. He has claimed that people who march in gay parades are the children of Satan and the radical homosexuals are evil. Now, several of Peterson's one-time friends allege that Pastor Owen's personal life is rife with gay and sexual relationships. Just, just riddled with, riddled with dicks. Riddled with dicks. Wall to wall. Riddled with dicks. Just dicks. <laughs> just a Tommy gun full of dicks. So you Dude. show up to his house. It just looks like <laughs> Sam's hot dick lad out there. <laughs> it just have just just balls hanging out of the wall. The city, the city <laughs> had to come by and go, listen, there's way you got way too many dicks. You got dicks on the lawn. You got dicks in the back. It's a safety hazard. We got to get rid of all these dicks. It's just dicks in the wall. Come on. Get, You're get some dicks. spackle. Yeah. Get some spackle. You could YouTube how to fix these holes in the wall. You hypocritical Peter's- piece of shit. <laughs> You anti-gay trash garbage human being. Two of Peter's former male associates came out in June with one on the record interviews says that he engaged in sexual activities with him while other men say that they they propositioned them, that he propositioned them. These allegations about the pastor who in the public is staunchly heterosexual have ripped like the earthquake. Staunchly, an earthquake through the manosphere, prompting some of Peterson's allies to abandon him and prompting one manosphere conference to ban him. Um, I'm very sorry to have Jesse's situations damage the conservative movement. Patrick Rooney, one of the men who claims to have had sexual relationships, he got him, he got a smash a Rooney on him. That means he smashed a Rooney, he topped and bottomed him, he bottom topped. <laughs> Okay. Sexual okay. relationships with Peterson told the Daily Beast. And the Daily Beast is their that's their paper. That's conservative paper. So, so the it, Daily Beast is throwing him under the bus. Oh, uh, like, he, he is he is he is under the bus. Under the yeah, wheel. First of all, don't 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 ever take any re- uh relationship or sex <laughs> advice from a pastor or priest or any religious figure who abstains from sex, <laughs> who is supposed to abstain from sex. What they're not going to they 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 cannot tell you what it's like to be in a relationship. They can't. No. So your priest should not be marriage counseling you. If you believe in religion, I don't. I'm an atheist. But if you're going to go down, you, the, unless you're going to unless you're going to marry a, a young boy, they do know yeah, about young you go boys. to the Catholic they, Church for the most part. They'll church, tell you yeah. they at least tell you how to cover up the paperwork and move very quickly from place to place. They'll give you a bunch of suggestions for you halls. <laughs> Uh, discount <laughs> codes and, and whatnot. A priest and a, a priest in general, even ones that are not crazy hypocrites like this guy, uh, they do not know anything about relationships. So stop doing that. The, the notion that some that a person who that you would go to a priest and do marriage counseling with a priest is absurd. But this guy okay, is can, on can we level. can we run that back? I want to run that back. Okay. I want to I want to hear. Let's go through point by point with this moron, this fucking okay. hypocrite, this. Dick juggler, goggler, cock dick smoker. rider. <laughs> you know I'm gonna get Miron on the on the show. Miron, I think that would be great because 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 I'm I'm trashing him because he's a cock smoker and pillow biter. But the thing is that I don't mean that about gay people in general because what, even we have, no, have understood. This- that even in any relationship, even if it's not a heterosexual relationship, there's still they're still dominant and submissive. It always exists. So a follower and a leader. Yeah. Always, always dominant and submissive. And, and anybody can understand the yin and yang of that, but it exists in every relationship. Remind me to talk. We're going to go through this, but yeah. remind me to but talk we're very, about, but we're, yeah, it's not, you're not making fun of him for being gay. If he was openly gay, the problem is no, he's, he's a, 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 he's a liar. He's a liar he's, and a homophobe and a racist and a homophobe. He's a homophobe and he's a he's he's perpetuating the kind of the kind of uh, attitudes that that create that perpetuate violence, bigotry and violence. And, and then yeah. and then he's sucking cock on the down low. Yeah. Wall to he's, wall cocks. So many cocks. He's smuggling cocks in his ass. You know so what I mean? Wholesale, wholesale cocks. 
don't have sex while dating. What do we do when she wants sex? Just say no, because women are not that into sex. They use sex to control men. Stop it women. there. We can stop right there. First mm. of all, some women are not into sex. Some women want to fuck all the time. Mm. And even women who want to fuck all the time don't that don't mean that it, they're indiscriminately and they're just giving it up. Yeah, they're, it doesn't they're, mean they're it's, whores. It's, it's about a connection to the person. One dumb comic, fucking Dan Dan uh, Natterman. Uh, we we were doing a uh, um. We had the girl on the. Remember, we had the girl on the on the show, the library girl who went viral because she masturbated. Kendra in, uh, Kendra James, I think. Yes, cutie, real cutie. Yeah. But she was she was actually trying to give. Uh, uh, she was trying to fuck uh, Andre. She wanted to make babies with started. Andre. Dan Natterman goes, "Do girls like when you come in your when they, you come in their face? Yeah, some girls do like." coming if but they don't want everybody's coming to fa- in their face now if you got a girl that likes everybody's coming up face mm, um her daddy uh, fucked her you know like this something there's something wrong with you can't it. want but everyone's coming you can't want everybody you can't want all you can't want you have to be very discreet discretionary with the cum you know you'd be very selective with the cum because <laughs> it's a process that creates attraction and if you're not creating attraction um, there's something wrong, but anyway, um, so go ahead. So, so him saying that women don't want sex, it's just, that's not true. There are women who want sex. There's women who are asexual, who don't want sex. There's well, women they don't want, who want they sex. D- they certainly don't want sex with a closeted, uh, pastor who's a homophobe. Yeah. They mm-hmm. don't want sex with you. And, and that dude looks like a hobo. If he yeah. had a, a stick with a, with a scarf, a kerchief. Yeah, right. it would it would match. It would match. Yeah. They would be, you know, you're not a, on TikTok and they go, "What are you wearing?" He'd be like, "He stick from hobo, mm. um, <laughs> uh, dirty underwear from Balenciaga, whatever." <laughs> he, he just looked nasty. But go ahead, continue. Women are sex dealers, and men are sex addicts, and so mm. the woman would prefer you not to have sex with her. But she will use it because she know your weakness in order to control you. Then she'll hate you. Okay, let's stop Mm. there. Let's. mm. I hate the. I mm. wanna. I wanna knock that dude's hat off his head with a bat, with a (laughs) with a with an aluminum softball bat. You don't go wood. You go full aluminum. Aluminum. I want to hear that. And I'm not gonna just knock the hat off. I'm going. I'm going full blown right in the middle where I know there's some skull there. Right. You fucking. Oh, mm. Let me tell you something. Men, let let's be honest about this. We understand that there's a biological aspect to this, where men like or have at a younger age have a higher level level of sex drive, right? And because they have a higher level of sex drive, absolutely, they are driven to have sex more. Um, also, when a guy doesn't have options. He will have he will want sex because he doesn't get it. When a guy has options, you'd be you know, I've had girls come where I was I mean, look, don't get me wrong, I'm 57 years old. So my my testosterone is well, it's it's back up now because of the because of the pellet. I in fact I gotta re-up my pellet. But the reality is it that changes. There's a biological reference to this. It it just it's not it's not just a one size fit all and men move through their lives at different points and times in their life. It's biological. So, and women are not, and, 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 and the only way that a woman can use sex to manipulate you is, is if you allow if, yourself if, to be manipulated. If, if you allow it. Yeah. If you, you say that my, just my self-respect and my manhood is, is, is not worth my, uh, is worth a piece of ass. Yeah, you can be manipulated. You can also be manipulated by drugs. You can also be manipulated by little boys, Jesse Peterson, is what you do in your own time, you fucking little fucking lying ass freak. You can also be be addicted to to cocks. You might be you might have cockitis where you just love sucking cocks in the privacy of your of your own ministry. Yeah. So <laughs> in the vestibule. In the vestibule, in the in the in the in the the, the confession booth, yeah. 
just cocks everywhere. But go ahead, let's walk cocks. This guy, oh, all right, let's let's see here. I, I just way. dread that I gotta hear this guy go mm, again. This guy, you mean? Are you talking about Leslie Jones in Migos? <laughs> Look at this guy. You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Peace. Let's go. You can't just have a completely sexist relationship. She'll leave. Right. If you, he's the only one with logic in the room, apparently. With some logic. He's like, with something some about logic. this is not fishy. Something and about I, this this guy <laughs> who's wearing very bright, a very bright polo for a, a heterosexual man. But anyway. This guy is who <laughs> this this homeless guy who managed to steal a shirt from the Banana Republic. <laughs> he got it from the lost and found you cousin ruckus over bag. here. You leave her. It is not meant to be your wife. So that's just a, keep turning that's a, down. That's a whore. <laughs> just keep. Whore. So your thing is just keep turning down women for sex, and they'll all leave until you eventually get with the one that is willing to wait for marriage. As a matter of fact, that's what the woman want you to do. How would you know, Jesse? What the what, what women want? Hey, but, oh gosh. She you know when you want- said that. Harry, I thought that was coming out of the video, and I was like, somebody with a voice of reason. No, nope, but sorry. no, it was you, no. Harry. It, it was, was you. me. Sorry. The only one with any common sense is that one guy with the goatee. He will he will eventually uh, end up doing a video like, hey, guys, so I guess you've noticed I'm not on the red pill wolves anymore. And um, <laughs> is so that what they call red pill? I just made it up. I don't know. I don't know what their show That's is. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Just, yeah. I just want to let you know a couple things went down. Uh, the second time they stormed the Capitol, I was just not with it. Uh, Twenty twenty four, when they stormed it, I was just like. And Jesse Lee Peterson tried to suck my dick <laughs> on the break. Uh, we had him I, on again. He immediately tried. He invited me to the to the uh, back for some prayer. I was like, I'm and Jewish. It, and it and it just it just turned me off from insurgents after yeah. that. Once so, he tried to put his hand his mouth on me, I was like, since, you know. Ever since he tried to blow me, I can't listen to Nick Fuentes anymore or uh, Andrew Tate or whatever. Here we go. I want you to want her sexually. She want you to res- resist her so mm-hmm. she, you can bring her into your world so she could overcome the hell that she lives in. Well, showing well, sexual discipline is always good because most guys don't do it. Yeah. It's, it's oh. a, a voice of reason. Okay. Yeah. Sexual discipline Easy. is a good thing. Fair it enough. Is. Con- it is. Continue. Yeah, no, that was the end of the clip. Because was, they, that, oh, that was it. So uh, just, that was, just that dumb shit alone. That's it. Right. I don't have the full. I'm sure there's more to it, but uh, we can only. I mean, I can play you another clip of his if you just want to see that, which I pulled. Oh, uh, why not? Why not? You're a pastor, right? Yes. And, and you're a radio host. Yes. Okay. And you, you're you're a gay man, right? Also, you're a you're gay a, man. You're a you closeted, like cocks. <laughs> you're a closeted homophobe who uh, is angry at homosexuals because. Uh, <laughs> You have a deep yearning inside you that can only be cured by massive quantities of cock. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, I am. Yeah, yes, yes, I yeah, am. Yeah, yes. You said you believe white people should have more children. We definitely need white babies, and I tremble at the idea that white babies, that the white uh, group is going down in numbers, because if you lose white folks, America is over for America. Because if you notice, why that guy that guy's looking at it like makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta see his face now. That's he's like, he's like this, huh? This, okay, this guy's got something here. Something about this guy. He goes, "We need more white babies." I'm listening. Okay, <laughs> America. Because if you notice, white people tend to be more innovative. They're more creative. They they have ideas about things. All these other races don't do nothing but destroy. They don't build, they destroy. I would, I would love a Spanish dude to jump and says, "What do you know about salsa?" Yeah. Oh my God! What a fucking maniac! Who, who invented salsa? <laughs> white people. Can you do this, Jesse, more white... Jesse Peterson? And he would be like, "No, but I like it." Yeah. <laughs> Why don't, you, why don't you come back to my ministry and we can talk about it in depth 
<laughs> behind closed door. You cock smuggler. Shut up. Lying hypocrite. Yeah, there we go. She got caught cheating. It says the title of this TikTok video. No, oh, I'm going to get my own clothes. No, you're not going to get shit. Like, I'm okay. my soul. I'm my right. daughter. You're not going right. to get well, shit. You can be drunk here all you want to. Okay. So this dude is uh, caught her cheating, it says, and he's trying to leave. And she will not let him get his stuff. And uh, it's becoming a tumultuous situation here. I'm going to be real drunk here when my people beat your ass. And it's I'm, like, I'm fine with that. I'm fine gonna with that. The police going to beat your ass or my people going to beat your okay. ass? Okay. Because I'll, I'll call the police. Here. I know you'll call the police. I know that's you call the police. what you want me to do. No, that's what, you're, you, that's what you always wanted to do. That's, what you that's why I don't need to be with you. That's what you want me to do. Okay. No, I you don't want to do that. You told me to call my people. You told me to call my dad. No, you call told your me dad. to call all these people. Yeah, go ahead. I said, go ahead and get your money no, so I can go. That's what you told me to do. I said, all you got to do is get your money so I can go. You told me to do. Okay, whatever. You Yo, man, I don't want no chick that's uh, got the the attitude of a bouncer at closing time <laughs> of a bar. She's got the body posture of a six foot nine dude. Where I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah, listen. You feel me? Yeah, I'm gonna beat your ass. What you fitting to do is see. You want me to call the cops? Because I'm going to beat your ass. I'm gonna get so drunk and I'm gonna watch them beat your ass. Now. Watch how. First of all, let let's let's rewind. Okay. There is a. Uh, there's three. Always write this down, y'all. Three phases of manipulation. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a perfect example of the three phases of <laughs> manipulation. I'm nice, right, Harry? I, I oh, see it. I'm I proud see of it. you. <laughs> proud of you, bud. Anger, guilt, sympathy. Right. First is. I'm a beat motherfucker. Anger. You I'm gonna I beat cheated your ass. on you. I'm gonna beat your ass. Then it's like, oh, that's what you wanted. Guilt. You wanted me to call the police. You wanted me to do that. And sympathy. Please don't beat me up. So please don't beat me. Then when you don't respond to the sympathy, how dare you not res You don't see me as pathetic I am here, and you don't have the empathy to at least acknowledge that and do what I want you to do. So then I get mad at you again. Let's roll it. You want me to yeah, go ahead. I said, go ahead and get your money no, so I can go. That's what you told me. I said, all you got to do is get your money so I can go. You told me to do. Okay, whatever. You want me to do what you told me to do? All right, whatever. All I'm trying to do is go out the door. <laughs> I see this on camera. Oh boy. Oh boy. A quick cut later. The guy's trying to leave and his girlfriend is hugging him, crying. <laughs> she went to phase three real quick. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. She went, she she's jumping quick. Bop, 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 bop. Oh man, she did all of that. That array, that array of emotions. Cause that cut can't be more than like two or three minutes. No, it can't be. Go do it again. Camera. Watch the watch the tone and watch your listen. Okay, whatever. You want me to do what you told me to do? All right, whatever. It's All I'm trying to do is go out the door. <laughs> Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door, get away from the situation and make things better for me, but um I can't seem to uh go. So when the police get here, you will see. Because I'm gonna have to remove her from me physically. Trying to be polite and just walk out and, and, and have a great day, but um, hmm. she won't get off me. Can you please get off me? I'm Harry, asking her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit you down. please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please get off of Harry, me? Harry, please don't put your hands. I'm, I'm begging you, please sit. No, oh, please. Now you're using but, please. But, but I'm going to watch you get your ass beat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch my. I'm going to get drunk and watch you get your ass beat. You heard me? Please. No, you. Don't. Please. You want me to call the cops. That's what you want to do. The hand was <laughs> just a quarter 180. And it, yeah, the three stages of manipulation. It goes from anger, anger guilt. to guilt, and then sympathy. Real quick, please, please. Like, you know, now you want to talk respectfully? I'm going to go from zero to 11 mm. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I like beer. <laughs> Where's where's uh Donkey Doug? Donkey Dick Doug. Donkey Dick Doug. Squee. The oh. devil's chain. Sit down. Please get off of me. Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please get off of Harry, me? Harry, please don't put your hands. I'm I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please. 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 You see this, right? Gary, Gary, you see this? Please, I'm trying to go. Please. I'm trying okay, to go. Look at me. Look at me. Look I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop, want nothing stop. from you. I want to get away from you. Gary, I want my freedom please. from you. I want.
want my freedom from you. How about how about I give you this ass whipping? Yeah. Yeah, what happened to the ass whipping? What happened to the police and all your friends? Watch when my people come. I'm going to get drunk and watch you get that ass beat. You heard? When he just oh didn't God. give in to her. No, daughter. please. Please don't. Just sit talk to me. <laughs> I'll suck your dick. Please don't. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. He wants his freedom. He, he went. And this yeah. is where even Jesse Lee Peterson can be right every once in a while. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's that's let's not do that. That's not the lesson today. I mean, Jesse Lee Peterson will watch that video and go, you, mm -hmm. now, you see, that's why I suck dicks. I mean, that's and, why. And wait a minute. Huh? Wait, what now? Oh, no. In in Christ's name. In Christ's name. <laughs> Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hey, amen. Name, amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Amen. Um, I got to teach you that how, how you got to. Amen. That's a question. <laughs> a amen. 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 <laughs> well, uh, oh, that's a, that's a question you asked Jesse Lee Peterson. Hey, who's who's uh, who's in that broom closet? Amen. 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 He's like, amen. 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 <laughs> eight men. Eight, eight men. <laughs> eight men. <laughs> he goes, oh, amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. What? What you said, Jesse? Fucking dirtbag. What I'm so thing. tired of the fucking lies. I'm just so disgusted with people lying and misrepresenting themselves and just anyway. Um, yo, Patreon people, I love y'all motherfuckers. I really do. If y'all need me, hit me on the on the you know Dante Never.com. You need Harry, hit Harry, whatever. We check out the YouTube page. We really blowing that shit up. We got some funky stuff. Come on, rejuvenated. Um, and um, man, I love y'all, man. We out of here. Peace. Cool, 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 cool. Did a husband cross the line when he left his wife at the airport? The husband explained they had about 15 minutes until boarding started and his wife insisted on going to Starbucks, which was on a different terminal. He told her she didn't have time, but she didn't listen. He waited as long as possible, but when the gate agent was about to close the door, he decided to get on the plane and the wife did not make the connection. Yeah, throw the whole wife away. First of all, he was going <laughs> to visit his daughter. So when the wife decided to go to another terminal with 15 minutes to board the plane, she made him make a choice between her and his daughter. Now, okay. here's, let me just say, let me start with this, right? Okay. okay. I'm so tired of black men trashing black women. Mm. So, okay, this is an interesting take here. You see how this woman, this woman held this chick accountable immediately. Mm -hmm. She, she. So this, this narrative as if that all black women are unreasonable, don't take accountability. Da 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 da. She said, "You got your. This is a whole ass bitch." In other words, she was like, "Your wife is a whole entire bitch," and you made her. Him treat, he, you made him choose between his his you and his daughter. Why would you do that? So let me start with that. Second of all, shout out to Cinnabon in the building. Mm. We dealt with this the legendary five, Cinnabon. The, yeah, we dealt with this five years ago when my man was telling me that his wife was. But but it wasn't it wasn't a one incident thing. It was like an ongoing incident where every time he would you know he would create this huge uh, like like family vacation for his wife and the kid. And they, well, he would do something. He would do it special for just him and his wife. Limousine, going to pick them up, five-star hotel, you know, fucking hammocks on the beach, all kinds of shit. And then his wife wanted a Cinnabon. She, she, but she would always make them late. They were, they were constantly running late. So what happens right. in that relationship, and I assume is the same case for this story, yeah. Was this is not a one off? Oh, situation. this is not a one off. This is, you can't tell definitely. me that. Yeah. Uh, proud of this guy. I don't know who, who he is, but I'm very much proud of him. If I remember the story, they literally missed this. They missed the flight before this. They yeah. missed this was like a makeup flight. They've missed several yeah. flights, and it's all because it's his daughter and not her daughter, whatever. Cinnabon was dealing with the same thing, and he had, had counseled you on the advice, right? And you, right. what was your advice to him? I told uh, him, I told him, well, he actually kind of, he. this is always like a pinch of simp in it, right? He actually um, 
told her she wanted he he said okay go do what you want to do now he didn't leave but what he did was he allowed them to miss the flight and then when they missed the flight they had to regroup the flight they had to move their vacation was spoiled and uh he had to he had to book a different hotel for two days until they could get a a a, a reservation at the the hotel that they initially wanted to now here was here, so it was like just because she wanted a fucking four dollar cinnamon, it was destroying the they, all the plans. They were that running we late. Up. They she knew they were running late, right. and she's like, "Hey, do we have time to stop?" He goes, "Oh, sure." And he, he just goes, "I'm hungry." Go. She goes, "I'm hungry." He goes, "Well, what do you want?" She goes, "I would like a cinnamon." He was like, "Oh, God, get it." He he actually sat down with her and watched her eat it while the while the plane. <laughs> He watched then, her eat it the way Hannibal Lecter would be watching people eat like a piece of their own brain that was being fed to him. You like that? Is it delicious? Are you enjoying every piece of the Cinnabon? Put some more cream on it. And then just watched her eat it. And then when they were done, they walked over to the terminal. And she was and like, wow, it, this, this flight is empty. No, bitch, it's they actually gone. Saw a tumbleweed go across the terminal. She goes, there's nobody here. Are you sure we're at the right term? Yeah, we're at the right terminal. Yeah, now, it's gone. Now, now let me let me go to the fundamentals of this. Somebody who does that to you doesn't respect the effort, the time and the effort you put in to somebody and they don't care. And if you're going to allow this disrespect to continue, you are signing up for it. Not only are you signing up for it, but you're signing up for it for the rest of your relationship, which is exactly what he did. I told him to go home. Give her her ticket, let her figure it out and go home. And then we could sit home and watch each other. Mm. Right. Watch. We could watch. Uh, we could watch each other in our living room for seven days because you didn't give enough of a fuck of a fuck about me mm. to to, sit to there, respect me. Sit there and watch the prices right in the middle of the day and go, well, this would be when we're getting that couple's massage. And now I got to I, I got to also go at go ahead, finish what you were saying. No, I'm just I'm just yeah, just saying like, the, you know, the idea of like, hey, this is what. You should. This is what we would be doing instead of sitting here because you're late. You know, instead, right. you know, no. Let's watch. Let's make a deal instead of going kayaking and you know all that. But anyway, now let me let me tell you what happened to that relationship. So, for instance, he did a portion of what I told him to do initially. I to, initially, I, I, I yeah. told him to go home. You missed the flight. Go home because let's let's be honest. How as a man, after you do all of that, you bend over backwards to make a great to have a great time to create a great situation. And then how is that not in the back of your mind for the whole vacation after that? That for a Cinnabon, because and because and mind you, she was talking, you yell so much and you this. Let's go to the couples therapy and blah, 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 blah. And I'm tired of this. Da, 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 right. And then ultimately, um. He 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 did a portion of what because I told him when she does blow and he was like, well, I don't want to blow the tickets and this. I go, how much did you spend on that vacation overall by going to the vacation? He said about five thousand. I go, how much would you have lost if you went home? He said maybe four hundred bucks. I go, let's be honest, you didn't go on the vacation for you anyway. You didn't care about going to. Belize or whatever the fuck, or Turkey or wherever you were going, you did this for her. This was your gesture to her, and then you let her corrupt it. Now, here's here's something that just thought of. I always say that I give guys advice, and they do part of it. Right? Again, I just thought about this. Even the legendary Cinnabon did a portion of that. Ask me where him and his wife are right now. Well, where how how are they? Did they celebrate their anniversary together? I mean, you know, it, that was five Div years ago. So I divorced. Oh. He has a beautiful Brazilian girlfriend who shines his, his who shines his uh, his stainless steel um, appliances and cooks for him and takes care of him. And they go on walk. They go on. Uh, uh, they go on the hikes together. And his wife is steadily get his ex-wife is steadily getting bigger and bigger and bigger with nobody to she, her mother moved her. His wife's mother moved in with her. So now she's got the mother and her and the kids living in an apartment where her mother wears watches novellas every day and nobody else can watch TV but the novellas. So that's that's where they're at. Mm. And he's he is absolutely living his best life because of but let's be honest, if he had listened to me in the first place and 
and and left that airport and went home. Said, "Look, I'm going home. So uh, here's your ticket. You want to go? You can do what you want to do." And also, I mean, you counseled him through the marriage because uh, his wife was giving him shit and then asked for a divorce. And what was right. your advice? Well, to him he went. About to, well, divorce? he went to. He went to. She asked to go to therapy, and the first day of therapy, she said, "I want a divorce." We could have saved the hundred and twenty five dollars for the for the therapy. You could have told me this at home. And here's here's the crazy thing about this. She was a home. She was a stay at home mom. So he had to pay for his lawyer and her lawyer for the divorce. How do you like that? Yeah, that that's she didn't care. That's the standard practice. That's why men tend not to get married because of, of things like that. Even when you get divorced for whatever reason in this country, it is uh, the laws are geared towards women in that aspect. Um, and men get screwed in divorces. They get screwed in uh, in custody battles and alimony. And then there becomes this narrative. Of, well, why aren't more people getting married? Yeah. It's, it's it's a financial it can put you in financial ruin. It's, it's, and the only person that ma that makes out on it is not even. It, I mean, even if the woman makes out on it, the, it's the lawyers and the court system that does this. This is a this is a marriage is becomes a a, a, a entity that is s simply a, a way to make money. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, "Holy shit, we we dealt with this," which is it, which is also crazy because think of how many times everybody thinks that their situation is different. You know, this is this is my situation, and you get. Um, it was funny. I was the the consultation. I did a consultation. The guy go, yo, I kind of feel stupid for paying money to talk to you because the you know the thing about men, two things that men are supposed to be good at that they have no practice is relationships and sex, and so there's no other situation that no other task or skill set that anybody would expect somebody to be great at with no practice. I don't care if you're playing tiddlywinks. You get a coach. You pay the coach. You put the time in. You make the, the sacrifice. You empty the cup up so that you can receive whatever needs to be received so that you can change the direction of that your life is going in because of bad, bad juju and bad direction that you had in the first place. Mm. So And, and crazy. the thing I wanted to get to, because we, we talked about this, when she asked for that divorce, by the way, he called you up. He said, you know, she asked for a divorce. What should I do? And you said flat out, give her the divorce. Give, it a give divorce. her the, the divorce in every aspect. Yeah. 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 Like, uh, yeah. go fill out the papers, get it done. Let let her mother know. Let her mother, because he was hiding from her mother and her mother was from was was living in a in a one bedroom in, in Washington Heights. He had brought his her mother out and she was living in a house and the mother had a, her own, had the whole basement and the whole thing and all of this. And so the thing is, if you're not willing to take away all the things that you've that that you've given somebody, then why would they appreciate it? If there's no consequence to treating somebody like trash, why would it matter? It just doesn't matter to people. I mean, you have to have your shit together and you be the best version of yourself so that you are offering something. But the biggest, the biggest deterrent is taking away what you offered because it's unappreciated. It's, it's unappreciated. unappreciated. So when he had to, so he gives her the divorce, we're getting divorced. Then when she has to get the oil change, he goes, all right, go change your oil. Go change your like, oil. Well, you, you usually do it. Not anymore. Not anymore. And go, then she doesn't know online. how to do it. Yeah. She doesn't know how to do it. Doesn't know where to go. To, well, here's the number. Call them and figure it out. And so there's so many things as a man, because part of and this is why I tell dudes all the time, put yourself first, because if you don't, she won't. There is so many aspects of our life when we're in a relationship that is directly related to to supporting and, and, and helping your woman, because if you're a man and you have a woman, part of your your value is the fact that your woman is happy. And if she's not happy, we take it personal. If your woman's bitching and carrying on and never happy and stuff like that, we take it personal. So we want to fix that. Not just because, yes, because we love them, but it's also because we see it as failure when our woman is not happy. Yeah, it, it feels like we're not doing our job because part of our job is making a woman happy. 
keeping a roof over your head, taking care of your kids, providing for your family, making her happy. Those are all if you if you embark in a marriage and a relationship, that's what your response. And if none of those things are happening, you feel inadequate about yourself. And then as you feel inadequate, you become insecure. And as you become insecure, you become you start simping. And when you start simping, she loses attractiveness about you because you're too soft and you become a pushover. And then she leaves you anyway. Hmm. Yeah. You got to be strong enough to to protect your woman from herself. You got to be strong enough to protect your woman from from her her herself from her emotions. You got to protect you from her emotions, and you got to protect the relationship from her emotions because you know how it's going to turn turn out. Women okay, so are in the moment, and men are always planning. Now, what perspective. what what about people who say, why would you say that women are more emotional or why would you say that women are can't control their emotions? If somebody said that, I, I think that both parties have problems. Com- look, if you if you can't control your emotions, you're not even going to get a girl because it, she doesn't feel safe with you. But there is um, I, I there, it's genetic. There's a maternal kind of feeling that women have just that this the way that they're re- able to read emotions is directly connected to their maternal ability to, ever, to 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 raise the species i mean we cannot take for granted that um that there is a biological em- element to this mm-hmm. that there's a genetic element to this and when and the body now, chemistry at the same time too you know we have different chemistry they have more energy uh, their percentages of of energy i'm sorry their their percentage of, of testosterone, testosterone versus estrogen is different than yeah. the male the male uh, ratio of testosterone and, and estrogen and it affects you emotionally and there's nothing wrong with that that's not saying that men are smarter or better it's just different it's just i have a, I have a there's a trans there's a tra- I have a trans friend of mine that transitioned to a man and started doing the, the testosterone therapy. And 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 he right said to me, now I get it. He goes, now when I when somebody walks by with a fat ass, I like, yeah, yeah I'm looking. I'm 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 aroused by it. It there's a direct correlation to the chemical imbalances or the chemical differences between men and women. And to try to act like that doesn't happen is just absurd. It's just such an absurd thing to do. I mean, I'm not saying that people don't have freedom of choice and people you like, look, pet, human beings are not vegan. You can make a choice to be vegan, but you have to make a conscious choice to do that. OK, mm. so you only eat you only eat meat. You don't need any meat anymore. Okay. But now you have to, you have to consciously make an effort to make sure that you have enough protein and enough vitamins that you're getting the proper amounts of nutrients because of it, because it's not natural. Mm. What do you want to do? I mean, the, it's like saying, here's what's, am- and what's interesting even about that. We're at this place where we, we understand that nobody chooses to be gay. Right. And so we have an understanding that, 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 Nobody chooses to be gay, just like nobody chooses to be to be uh, straight, straight. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, when it comes to the differences for men and women, then all of a, that's not even a conversation that we can have. Look, I know like my my um, my step, my half sister. Right. Mm. Um, Yo, she was beating up dudes when we was in third grade. She used to take up for me. Her nickname is Sarge. Right. Jesus she was she, she beat In up third dudes. grade, third grade, fourth grade. She was she was like our protector. She always had this 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 kind of masculine way about her. And 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 it, she didn't make that choice. It was just always so. So if we can understand that, that people have a different a, a different approach to things and it's not and it's natural then are we saying that women don't have that approach sure there are women who are masculine and there are situations where that 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 it is a spectrum and it moves but can we have a discussion about what the spectrum is and can we identify that somebody may have a propensity to a particular spectrum that somebody has it's just absurd i mean we can't even have reasonable conversations about this stuff anymore no, no, no. And it's, uh, you know, again, it doesn't make one side uh, better. That's the, the pro- that's the problem with the red pill movement that uh, unfortunately you and Patrice kind of started in a way that planted the seeds unintentionally 
um the the notion that it's about shitting on one side oh women don't do yeah. this women don't do that all right but they're women like that's what they're gonna do you can't be mad at fish for swimming that's what they do yeah yeah. It's not intentional. It's uh, there are things that happen intentionally for sure. Uh, it, you know, being rude. We talked about that cheesecake factory lady. That clip is has yeah. yeah. uh, been seen by a lot of people. You know, be you. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be mean. But there are other subconscious things that women do. You right. know, and there are subconscious things that men do. Well, to uh, be honest, even when we talk about the cheesecake, she didn't think she was doing anything wrong. No. She absolutely thought that as a, a even as a garbage human being, she that this is this is. And then she had this conf uh, confirmed bias because she talked about, oh, me and my girls, we would never yeah. go to cheesecake. Yeah, because all your girls is fucking single and alone and they're all fucking cunts. Uh, of course. you. So and then I, you and it's also because how she was raised. If you, if you watch the second video that we put up. Yeah about the cheesecake factory lady she goes on about well that's how i was raised that when you're courting a woman you do everything she wants and you pay for everything like and you get her whatever she wants so she's not wrong but then yeah. the question was what are you bringing to the table what do you do what she is never, your she's never had to ask that question she that's never been a requirement because of the the way men approach it because every time if there was a time somebody said no there's always another man who was willing to put his uh manhood aside just for an opportunity at a scratch off of maybe getting sex with her. And I'll tell you something. She also says in that interview, she says, um, uh, she talks about how, uh, like she says, says she was raised this way. And she said, there are men who come out and they spend money. They, they have no problem spending money and buying whatever you want. And he, and she goes, yeah, but you know, it then it becomes transactional that they only want from you what they want from you and then they're ready to move on which is you know it's basically like some some hybrid form of prostitution and then she says and women don't usually respect the guy who is who does that who's just willing to do it. so even in her own admission so she what's interesting about the lack of awareness is that you have this awareness about that you wouldn't even respect a guy who does that, but yet and still you're asking a guy to do that. Why not ask, not ask him, why not go into this date in a good faith situation? Because here's the thing, even if you're in it a good faith and it all goes well, it still could go to shit. Like it could still all things, all things equal compatible same upbringing same mentality money this that you imagine you could still end up shit yeah yeah and so why not try to limit that try to why use not? why are you making it harder why, yeah. why are you making why it make more it difficult all right let's uh let's speaking of uh hard relationships here let's pull up this clip uh today it turned out to be just a clip watching day this is uh but it's good because this is like watching game film today that's what we're doing you know, also, so Patreon people, don't forget tomorrow I will be streaming live, taking questions on uh, Godfrey podcast in Godfrey. We trust podcast and the YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, uh, Man School 202. Yeah, YouTube any channel. Anybody um, who wants to watch it, you can it'll be streaming on the Man School 202 YouTube channel every Tuesday night for the foreseeable future. Around yeah. what time would you say around what time? Uh, we'll that? probably be up and running around eight o'clock. East eight, Coast eight, time, eight o'clock. East Coast. Maybe. Time. Mm, let me see. Maybe like eight thirty nine between eight thirty and nine. We'll be up and running. OK, so check that out. And, you know, uh, check that out. And Dante's doing Q&A. There'll be a number there. You can call in. It's a good time. I've, I've, uh, I've been watching this. Which ultimately myself. we're going to get ready to do, we'll do it, it here. We're going to be Absolutely. We're gonna do yeah. it here. We're doing a lot of changes and you've noticed them and you've been you've been receptive. So thank you guys for supporting us. Thank you to also the like and share. Send the videos, man. Please help help the people around you. I know we all have people who we know are in pain. Um, let's help them out, too. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.